Good afternoon, St. Louis, and thanks for joining us on Studio STL, presented by Woods Basement Systems. I'm your host, Chelsea Haynes, and it's Wednesday, so it's time to wind down. And joining us now is Megan Greco from If You Pour It. She's a local wine connoisseur and blogger here. Megan, thanks for being here with us Thank today. you. Absolutely. So last time you were here, we did a little bit of a witch's sangria, which was spooky, getting ready for spooky season. What else is kind of spooky as well? Trying wine blindly. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. That is true. But blind wine tastings are a really good idea for any wine lover because you can really um, hone in on what you actually like. So I can tell you a wine is really expensive and I can give it to you and naturally you might think it's good wine because it's expensive. But that's not always the case. So blind wine tasting is a good way for you to really figure out what you like in wine. Absolutely, <laughs> and you brought in a few visuals with us yes. today. What do we have with us today? Okay, so when we do a blind wine tasting, we're gonna use a deductive tasting grid. So this grid is going to talk about the visual, the nose, and the palette of the wine. So first, we're gonna talk about the um, visuals, which is like the colors of wine. And there are tons of colors. There are tons of colors display. you can see, but you can really look at the wine, and if you, um, like if you're into more of a, if you've got a straw color here, it may likely be um, a Sauvignon Blanc, or if it's more golden in color, it can be more of a Chardonnay. Ooh, and who knew there were so many colors? There are so you just a lot think, of you just colors. Think white, red, and rose, and maybe a few other, a few other hues in between. But there really are a lot yeah, of colors. There are. And as you age wine, so white wine is actually going to get darker in color, and red wine will get duller in color. Oh, I didn't yeah. know that. You're teaching me something new today. I know. So the next thing is the nose. Okay. So this one's kind of fun. We can pull out a lot of characteristics and make a lot of guesses with the nose of the wine. So I brought some aromas for you to try. Oh, gosh. <laughs> She's going to put my, my nose to the test today. Okay, so this is your first okay. one. It's... Tarty, kind of tangerine orangey. Lemon. Lemon. That okay, was good. There we go. That nice. was good. So you can find a lot of lemon in um, some Italian Pinot Grigios or some Rieslings. Okay. Yeah. I got one right. I'm one for one. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Hold on. Let me smell it one more time. Oh gosh. Okay. One more time. <laughs> Nope, I can't tell you. It's it's very um, herbal. It's grass. Oh, there you go. There we go. You got, you got Does that a, count? That counts. Okay, I'm you two got, for two now. She's got a nose for wine. Okay, so this one's a little tricky. Okay. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> she did not like that one. We can tell already. Okay, let me smell it one more. Time. You want to? Really? Not really. I don't know what that is. Okay, so that one's actually horse sweat. <laughs> yes, yeah, so horse sweat is an aroma in wine. It is actually a fault, but it's Bretomyces mm -hmm. is a um, bacteria that can infect the inside of a wine barrel and the, the smell can actually come out in wine. Who knew? Who knew? Well, that's not a smell that I want to <laughs> smell ever again. Okay, so we have the colors. Yes. Then we have the the scents that you can smell in the wine. Yes. Okay, and then what's our last thing? Okay, so this is our palette. So this is really, really where we're going to hone in on what we're drinking. So there are four components of wine. Um, a lot, the two most important I would feel like is your tannins, which is, people get this confused all the time, but it's the cotton-like sensation inside your mouth. So that's what's gonna make it be very drying inside of your mouth. Okay, so that's a dry versus a sweeter wine. Right, so, so and then we also have acidity. So acidity is gonna be very mouth-watering. So versus tannins, tannins gonna make your mouth dry, acidity is gonna make your mouth water. Okay, there we go. We got sugar. Sugar adds body to wine. Yeah, she That's likes the I like. sugar. I like the sugar. <laughs> yeah, sugar adds body to wine. It's going to add texture. It's going to really bring out flavors in wine. Okay, okay. and last. And last, last not least. is your alcohol. So that's the heat that comes down your throat. Okay, so we have our tannin, our acid, our sugar, and our alcohol. Yeah. Okay, don't quiz me after we come back from our news break. I may or may not remember, but we are going to send 